In today's video guys, we are going to be taking a look at something that's kind of weird, but in a way it's kind of cool. And it kind of originates from those Roblox groups that used to invite people which had an item in common. If you've got no idea what I'm talking about or you don't remember these groups, let me show you. So groups like this used to be really popular. As we can see, the Dominus group by Truestar. And what these groups were mainly for is people which owned Dominus hats. I guess for fans as well, if you were like a fan of them, you could also join. And yeah, like I was saying, this is not really so much of a thing anymore. These types of groups used to be really popular back in 2013, maybe earlier. We can see here this guy's got the text Dominus and he hasn't even been ranked. The last group shout was from 2019. That just shows that these groups are not really looked after. They're sort of abandoned. We can see here in Dominus owners, all of these people do in fact own Dominus hats. And yeah, this was a trend on Roblox for quite a while. There was a one for Valkyrie owners as well. I think this one still gets updated. So, oh yeah. So this one looks kind of professional. Maybe they actually care about it. There's quite a few Valk owners here. There was also one for Teapot owners clan. So on this one, I guess everyone owns a Teapot. One times one times one times one Teapot. I think that still works. That's actually a really good free item though. Getting slightly more modern now, the Crown of O's or the Crown of Owners. I like that name. Damn, this group's got a lot of members. So yeah, depending on how you rank it, Bombastic, then you've got the Adorite ones. Pretty cool. I like it. And people even made them for UG see items like the pyramid hat. Wasn't this thing like 3,000 Robux or something insane? Oh no, it's even worse. It was 5,000. Making these groups to get members to join that have items in common, it's not really as popular as it used to be, but yeah, it seems people still kind of do it. Let's go on to the main subject of today's video though, because some people have been making groups to collect items, but to collect them themselves. They're not really trying to get members. They basically get free items or like very rare items on alt accounts, and to then they fill up the group with their own alts. And I've seen a couple of people do this and honestly, I think it's kind of cool. I'm not really sure what they're trying to pull off. Maybe in the future, having all of these accounts with rare items on would be like valuable or something. I don't quite know. Maybe they were hoping the items might go limited, but let's go and take a look at it anyway. So here is one of the groups. Vault Collection made by something dev. I can't pronounce that. I've got no idea what that says. Anyway, this guy decided to make tons of alt accounts with the Violet Valk. And these are 50,000 Robux each. So this guy has spent a ton of Robux doing this. To be honest, I don't know the exact amount, but I would say it's around 500,000, which is around $5,000. So yeah, a lot of money. Now for me personally, if I was going to do something like this, I don't think I'd be spending that much unless I was like 100% sure the Violet Valk was going to go limited. But as we know, Roblox don't really do limited so much anymore. So maybe this guy started it before he found that out. But yeah, I don't know. But anyway, Anyway, it's pretty interesting. He hasn't just got the Violet Valk, there's other random stuff. This one's a Summer Valk, that one's like 25k, right? More Summer Valks, uh, what's this? I think there was some Valks from like the, um, oh, what's it called? The Bloxy Awards, that was it. I think he has some of the accessories from the Bloxy Awards and some other very rare items. So yeah, I think this is kind of cool in a way. In the future, if you came back to this, I bet these accounts would be worth like so much money, even though selling accounts is technically against TOS and they would probably get banned. But even so, you guys get the idea. I guess the other benefit is if his main account got banned, he could always switch onto one of these alts and straight away they've got like super rare items with cool avatars. So yeah, I do like this. Maybe I should start doing it. Maybe it's just a good idea to have a group with all of your alts in. It makes it easier to sort them out and find them, I guess. And having an alt account on Roblox these days is so important. It's too easy to get banned randomly. No, honestly, guys, I really wish I did this with the Blueberry Shark Buddy because unfortunately it got got removed from the game. Yeah, I don't know why. I thought it was going to stay in there for like quite a few months, but two months later they decided to remove it, which is fair enough. It's their event. It's up to them. I did join the game to have a quick check and like the whole obby button's missing. So honestly, if I could go back in time, I would have hoarded this on alt accounts and just kept them in a group, you know, just for safekeeping if I ever needed like an alt or something. If I had known they were going to update it and remove the button, I definitely would have collected a ton of these beforehand because I think I've only got like two of them. Oh no, that's so sad. People doing e-claim in the comments. Oh, no, I wish they got it. Still, there is over 700,000 of them, which is a lot. So I guess it's not too bad it's gone. I guess it is rare now. So that's one nice thing, I guess. If you guys wanted to do something like this for yourself, so like make a group and get a ton of alts in that are holding like rare items, I would honestly say do it with the circlet of patience because this item is still available. I don't know how long it's going to be available for. Maybe when the next Bloxy's open, this item is probably going to get discontinued. So you've got like
like at least what a month left to go and get this if you want i'm just checking and yes it does still work so if you want it make sure to go and get it i got this on july 14th and july 14th of 2023 is coming up i'm pretty sure groups are still 100 robux right um yeah they are so if you guys want to make your own group i'll link this down below obviously you just add the information and create it and if you want to add in your own alt accounts with free stuff all of the tutorials for this stuff is on my channel i might set one of these up but i don't know i kind of wanted my shark thing i actually tried it for myself just to see what it's like i added some alts to my shark box roblox group because i don't really use this i think i used it in a couple of videos before and yeah look at this hey i've got five accounts three of them have got like the uh, mclaren motorcycle helmet which i thought was pretty cool and two of them have one of my most favorite free accessories of all time yes the red roblox cap i've been saying for years i want roblox to make this limited i think it would just be so funny i'm confident though at like some point roblox is just gonna take this off sale so if you don't have it i feel like i've said this a lot make sure to go and get it i realized adding these accounts does take quite a long time but maybe you could add a couple i don't know it's always safe to have a backup on roblox so in conclusion guys is making groups with many alt accounts like this worth it well honestly i don't really know i'm gonna say yes and no if you randomly happens to do this with an item that went limited well then w for you i guess you're gonna make a lot of robux however we know stuff doesn't normally go limited anymore roblox haven't published a limited in like three months now i guess technically you could do this with ugc limiteds if you wanted to i would say one of the main benefits of doing this is if you got banned on an account or maybe you got banned on a game and you wanted to change accounts or something that would also work so i don't quite know how worth it it is it does have drawbacks as well obviously if you're not getting free stuff it's going to be quite expensive you have to buy a group and it takes a long time building up accounts but maybe having your old accounts in a group's a good idea anyway it's a nice way of organizing them at least